you would often find questions around array and dsa rounds if you are appearing for a front end interview don't worry i am here to help you crack your dream job my name is vedant and you are watching dsa in javascript on js cafe so without wasting any time let's get started today we are going to solve the famous question merge intervals so the question is given an array of intervals where interval i equals to start i end i merge all overlapping intervals and return an array of non overlapping intervals that cover all the intervals in the input so let us understand the question by the help of example so the interval array is 1 3 2 6 8 10 and 15 18 by chance this A particular example is already sorted uh, by a start index, and in the question there is no mention of the array B being sorted. So uh, we should not assume that the array would be sorted is at the first place. So it is our duty to first of all sort the array. But in this example, the array is already sorted. So we'll proceed further. We can see that one comma three and two comma six are overlapping. Why overlapping? Because uh, you can see that uh, although they are sorted by the start index, okay, but the end index of this particular array one comma three and the start index two of this particular array is overlapping. So three and two are coinciding. So definitely these two uh, examples are overlapping. So once we merged it. we will get 1,6 how 1,6 since we already know that we have sorted the array based on a start index so 1 is definitely going to be there for sure because this would be the least value on the left hand side and whatever is the maximum of the end index of either of the array uh, array items we will pick that so 6 is the maximum between 3 and 6 so 6 is over here now these both are merged now we come to 8 10 So eight ten and over here we see that one comma six and eight comma ten. Okay, so these two are not overlapping. Okay, so we will put them as it is over here, and same goes for fifteen comma eighteen. That fifteen comma eighteen and eight comma ten are not overlapping. So it will come over here. Okay, so this is the case. Uh, this is how we are going to solve the question. Now let us uh, jump to the approach. Oh hey there, what you are looking at? Is the Discord community of JS Cafe? Are you a front-end developer looking for a community where you can connect with others in the industry, get mentorship, and find jobs and internship opportunities? Look no further. I am excited to announce that I have launched a new Discord community exclusively for front-end developers. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, our community is the perfect place to share your knowledge, resolve doubts, and learn from each other. As a member of community, you will have access to experienced mentors who can guide you through your journey as a front-end developer. Opportunities to connect with other developers, share your work, and collaborate on projects, jobs, and internships posting from top companies in the industry. Regular events and discussions on front-end development trends and best practices. Our goal is to create a friendly and inclusive environment where developers can thrive and grow together. So, if you are looking. to take your front end development skills to the next level we'd love for you to join us to join the discord community you can visit the about section of the youtube channel and you can find the link now let's continue to the video so this example is i guess uh, pretty small so let us try to tweak it and add more uh, values to it so we can add 3,5 i guess so 1,3 is overlapping with 2,6 And six two comma six is definitely overlapping with the uh, three comma five. Okay, so three comma five, I guess, uh, entirely uh, lies between two comma six. Okay, it is that case, and three comma five is not overlapping with eight comma ten. Uh, let us add uh, one more uh, element over here. We can take um, I guess nine comma twelve. Okay, so eight comma ten and nine comma twelve uh will overlap, and nine comma twelve and fifteen comma eighteen are not overlapping. So fifteen is uh comma eighteen is not overlapping. So this is the particular example that we are going to pick uh today, and uh, let me show you the approach how we are going to solve this question. So uh first of all we will uh pick this first element of the array. Okay, uh I'll call it as P. 
pair okay so pair right now is 1 comma 3 as it is and we will start iterating over each element of the uh, array okay so right now we are at 1 comma 3 so 1 comma 3 and 1 comma 3 are definitely overlapping and once you merge 1 comma 3 uh, it uh, uh, with 1 comma 3 you will get 1 comma 3 of course okay so that is uh, not a fancy case so what we are going to do is we are going to have a uh, array okay we are going to call it result for example okay result would be an array and since uh, we have this 1 comma 3 with us over here so we will keep it in the pair as it is so we can see that 1 comma 3 and 1 comma 3 are overlapping so we will just uh, keep the pair as it is right now because both are same values and we will not push anything into the result array up till now so once there is a case of overlapping we will not push anything into the result but we see that if something is not overlapping at all then we will start pushing elements into the result array okay we will see that case eventually so we uh, came across 1 comma 3 that is fine now it's time for us to go to 2 comma 6 okay so 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 6 we can definitely see that they are overlapping and what we are going to do is we are going to update the pair value okay pair value right now will be a 1 okay why 1 because we have already sorted uh, this particular array based on the start index so whatever is the leftmost value of the pair would remain as it is that being the least uh, because we are picking the pair value from the zeroth index and we are gradually increasing the index so it always makes sense that uh, whatever was the first pick value was the least whatever will be the next would be the second least and so on okay so now we have a one in the place over here and now we have to compare the maximum of three and six so maximum of three and six is six eventually so one comma six would be our new pair and since 2 comma 6 was a case of overlapping so we will not much anything into the array result array and we will move uh, forward so 3 comma 5 okay we come to 3 comma 5 and we see that uh, 3 comma 5 lies entirely in 1 comma 6 how because uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay 3 and 5 we just uh, traverse right now okay 3 comma 5 lies entirely in 1 comma 6 so what we are having is we will update the pair again okay what we will do is we will keep uh, the minimum one as it is and we will pick the maximum of six and five okay so six and five is what we get v6 okay so this was one comma six again and this was again a case of overlapping now we come to eight comma ten to eight comma ten we came and we realized that one comma six is not overlapping with eight comma ten at all because uh, six and eight are uh, very far values and they are not overlapping so since we got our first non-overlapping uh, condition, what we will do is we will push our pair uh, variable 1 comma 6 into the result array and we will discard this particular value and put 8 comma 10 as the new pair. Okay. Now we will, why 8 comma 10? Because we traversed 1 comma 3, 2 comma 6 and 3 comma 5 and we overlapped all the elements that were possible. Now, since we encountered a case of non-overlapping, then we it definitely makes sense that whatever was before 8 comma 10 was already uh, optimized for merger and whatever was the net output should be pushed into the result array. Now, there is no case of overlapping of uh, previous computations. So, it definitely makes sense to make 8 comma 10 as a new pair and they should act as a pivot for us to judge what should merge next okay i hope that was clear so we got 8 comma 10 as our new pair and we will now traverse to 9 comma 12 8 comma 10 and 9 comma 12 are definitely overlapping why because 10 and 9 we can see that they are uh, intersecting each other so again it is time for us to update the pair and we will take minimum 8 over here that is for sure we don't have to do anything we will keep the zero th so the trend is we always keep the zero th index as it is of the pair okay it, because it is guaranteed that it would be least you can check uh, with any of the example if you take right now so we kept it as it is and we will take maximum of 10 and 12 which gives us 12 okay this was a case of overlapping so we will not push anything on the result array now we will move forward to 15 comma 18 15 comma 18 definitely doesn't overlaps with 8 comma 12 so what we will do is we will directly push 8 comma 12 8 comma 12 
into the results array. And since we got a, a case of non-overlapping, we will discard this 8 comma 12 and make 15 comma 18 as our new pair. Now we try to traverse next. We don't have anything. We end our for loop of the traversal. We exit it and whatever was there pending in the pair that definitely has to be pushed because we cannot lose on to any information. Okay, 15 comma 18. So this is what you will get when you try to merge or overlap intervals uh, of this particular example and this is what you will get. So I hope the uh, logic was clear to you. Now it is time for us to write the fancy code and you will also learn how we can sort array of arrays in JavaScript. So this is something uh, new to you. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know. It's my job to teach you. Uh, so let us try to write a code for it. Wait, wait, wait. Did you check the JS Cafe website? There you can find the solutions to all the problems that I've solved on the channel. Plus, you also get an organized curriculum in the form of roadmap to help you crack any interview. So what are you waiting for? Go to jscafe.dev and start your front-end journey with us. We get the intervals array. Okay. So first and foremost job for us is to sort the array. So to update the intervals array, we have to sort it and we get intervals.sort. Okay. The sort callback function gives us two parameters a comma b a comma b uh, are the two elements that need to be compared in the ad and what we are going to do is we are going to return uh, a of zero minus b of zero so how this is working so the sort functionality whatever you pass a callback function what we do is uh, yeah so this gives us a callback function and it gives us two elements to compare. Okay. So A and B are any two elements of the array that we want to sort. Now, if A minus B, okay, just for a second, let us forget uh, if there is anything like zero over here. Just if we write A comma B, what it will does is it will sort the array in ascending order. So if A minus B turns out to be negative, okay. So it will place A first in the array. If A comma B tends out to be positive, right, then it would place B before A. Okay. So this is how it is working. And if it turns out to be zero, then it means both are same. Uh, then it doesn't matter to sort, just place them whatever way you want to. Okay. So let's say we are getting uh, two elements to compare of the array. And in our example, we can see that the two elements are array as well. So if we want to sort the values, we have to pick the start indexes. So how we can we pick the start indexes? By definitely pointing to the zero index. Okay. So this is how we can sort array of arrays in a JavaScript in ascending order. If you want to do in descending order, then definitely you have to place B first in this logic and A after that. So this is how it is. Now it, we have sorted the array. What we needed, we need a result array where we are going to push our output and we also need a pair. So we pick the first element of the intervals array as the pair. Okay. Now we start traversing the array or const um, interval i of intervals okay and now we have to check that if interval i is overlapping with pair okay so what we are going to do is we are going to check if pair the end index of the pair is greater than or equal to the first index of the interval element if this is the case, then they are overlapping. So this is not, not the case. They are not overlapping. So if they are overlapping, our only job is to update the pair value. Okay, like we saw, whenever there was a case of overlapping, we did not push anything onto the result array. We only, what we did, we only tried to update the pair until we reach a case where overlapping was not possible. So we will 
try to update math.max and it will do i of i of 1 and pair of 1 okay why not we are touching the zero index because we already saw we have sorted the array and whatever is placed at the zero index will would be the least always okay so if there is a case of overlapping just update the pair if there is no overlapping then result dot push the pair and update the pair okay and then we are going to do again result dot push pair over here and we are going to return result so let us try to run this okay this was accepted both the cases let us try to submit it and see and voila it was accepted so uh, let us talk about the time and the space complexity so first of all we are sorting this particular array so it gives us big o of n log n at this place and then we are also traversing the array in one go so the overall time complexity gives us big o of n log n plus big o of n and what about the space complexity the big the space complexity is big o of n because we are having a result array to uh, store our uh, results and we are returning that so the time complexity is big o of n log n plus big o of n and the space complexity is big o of n so i hope you like this question if you have any doubts and comments please let me know in the comment this was all in this video see you in the next one till then take care goodbye